cars are getting lighter. More and more aluminum is being used. And every kilogram counts. A reduction of just 100 kilos noticeably reduces consumption by around half a liter per 100 kilometers. Using this lightweight material also makes sense in the field of electromobility. More aluminum increases the efficiency and thus the range of electric vehicles. In the family-owned company Holde Oberflächentechnik, or surface technology, in the south of Germany, aluminum components are treated so they can be used in the automotive industry. Like the sidewalls of the Porsche Taycan, for example. Over a third of the vehicles manufactured out of aluminum. The proportion of aluminum in vehicle construction is continuously increasing, regardless of whether it is an electric car or a combustion engine. In the industry, the use of this lightweight material has roughly doubled within the past 20 years. We got into lightweight construction because, without it, we see that it is not possible to save CO2 and so on in the automotive industry. The individual components for the vehicle industry are manufactured with the help of large stamping machines and in foundries. And they use special oils and fats for production. This usually leads to contamination. Furthermore, the components do not have homogeneous surfaces, but rather oxide layers of different thicknesses. The Holder Oberflächentechnik, or surface technology company, cleans the components and applies defined layers to the surfaces. Only in this way can the individual parts be glued or welded later in industrial production. The problem with our surface technology is that our equipment is always very energy intensive. We've tried to set up a system here that can work in a way that conserves resources and supports the environmentally friendly approach of the automotive industry, so as not to negate the advantage of lightweight construction. The cleaning procedures necessary usually use large amounts of water, chemicals and energy. Only then can the aluminum parts go through the so-called passivation process. This special chemical process makes the parts workable for the automotive industry. At the site in Leichingen, a new system is significantly reducing resource consumption. Special racks move the individual aluminum parts into the initial degreasing bath. Here at 55 degrees Celsius, Surfactants loosen the oils and fats from the component parts. In addition, special salts are used to ever so slightly dissolve the aluminum surface. This cleaning process is facilitated by ultrasound. The components then go through a three-stage rinsing cascade, in which the last of the three basins contains the cleanest water. Altogether, there are several such rinsing cascades in the system with an upstream degreasing bath. In order to save water, chemicals and energy, the rinsing water is used several times in the new system. The fresh water, which is used for all rinsing processes, first flows into a large collecting tank under the site. An ion exchanger takes it and produces fully demineralized water. This flows into a circulatory sink. With the ultra-pure, fully demineralized water, this is the cleaning step before the actual passivation takes place. From a spillway, the water flows into a so-called buffer storage tank. Part of this flows back into the large collecting tank and then via the ion exchanger in the circuit back into the sink.
Remaining water from the buffer tank flows into the top basin of the rinsing cascade. If a component is immersed here, water flows over an overflow into the next basin in the cascade. The water flows towards the racks with the component parts, from the top to the bottom basin of the cascade, and from this into a further buffer storage tank. Directly in front of this rinsing cascade is the degreasing bath, in which the components are actually cleaned using chemicals and ultrasound. Water is lost here due to evaporation and drag out losses. The buffer storage tank compensates for this with the aid of the rinsing water. This contains the surfactants washed off in the cascade from the degreasing bath. They are immediately recycled here. However, the water from the buffer storage not only compensates for the losses in the degreasing bath, it also flows to the flushing cascade in front of it. The water flows through this cascade according to the same principle. And here, too, the water from the last cascade ends up in a buffer storage tank. And part of this flows back into the degreasing in front of it. Here, too, some of the chemicals are recycled. Only a remainder of the water is discarded and is treated in a separate wastewater plant before it is discharged into the sewer system. This cleverly designed system ensures that aluminum parts are rinsed several times and finally cleaned in ultra-pure and fully demineralized water. At the same time, the water is used multiple times. By filling the degreasing baths from the buffer storage tanks, the use of chemicals is also significantly reduced. Additionally, the process saves energy as less water has to be treated in the wastewater system. After these cleaning and rinsing steps, the parts are immersed in the actual passivation bath. The existing oxide layers on the component parts are removed here. A special chemical reaction then leads to the formation of an aluminum titanium layer that is only a few millionths of a millimeter thick on the surface. This layer offers a high level of protection against corrosion and enables optimal welding and bonding for component parts in the automotive industry. After further rinsing baths, the aluminum parts are dried. In a dehumidifier, warm, dry air with a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius flows in from one side and is extracted again on the opposite side. After the moisture is removed from the air, it flows back into the dehumidifier. The previously dried components are then put into a normal convection dryer with circulating air. Here they stay for a few minutes at 80 degrees Celsius. The combination of a dehumidifier, which through airflow quickly dries large amounts of water, and a subsequent convection dryer also saves energy. All the heat for the baths and for the dehumidifier is supplied by a combined heat and power unit, or CHP for short. Since this CHP not only produces heat but also electricity at the same time, the natural gas is also used very efficiently. Thanks to the intelligent control of the energy and heat flows, as well as the repeated use of the chemicals and water, this innovative technology conserves more resources when compared to conventional systems. Almost half of the required chemicals, more than 50% of the fresh water, and around a quarter of the CO2 emissions are saved. Compared to the standard technology, we save approximately 770 tons of CO2, approximately 13,000 cubic meters of fresh water, plus approximately 20 tons of chemicals every year. We expect an amortization period of around three to four years. It's worth it now and in the future as long as the factory is running. A state-of-the-art treatment facility for aluminum components has been built in Leichingen. 
The system was funded by the Federal Ministry of the Environment as part of the Environmental Innovation Program. Due to the large basins, big vehicle parts around four meters in length can be cleaned and passivated here for the first time. This makes it easier to use lightweight aluminum in the automobile industry, thus also contributing to the reduction in CO2 emissions. In addition, the system uses the materials very efficiently, thus supporting the overall production of resource-efficient, sustainable cars.